hello, hello. I've arrived. I'm a little bit quiet on my end. Hold on a second. Hmm. I need to adjust my microphone, actually. Or no, no, there we go. Alright, I've, I've diagnosed the problem. There we go. Much better. Alright. Hello. Hello. I've arrived. Oop. So yes, today is Tuesday. Once again, it is time for some more Pokemon Snap. But before we get into that, we of course have the customary business. So, today, Pokemon Snap. Tomorrow, we should be looking at some more, uh, let's see. Yeah, tomorrow should be more Tales of Arise. Thursday should be some more Valhalla with Sheppy Sheps. And then Friday should be a little bit more of Tales of Arise once again. So yes, yeah, we're a little bit late tonight. I had adjusted my schedule specifically with the intention of not being late going forward. But uh, unfortunately, I had to stay late at work tonight as I am covering for uh, a co-worker of mine. Yes, I will also need to be closing tomorrow, but that shouldn't impact the, the schedule very much. Yeah, that should be, because I won't have to stay as late. But yes. So, let's see, other than that, I can't think of any particular business that is especially pertinent to the stream. So, oh, I guess one thing that ha that is relevant is I've been I've messed around with my encoder settings a little bit more off stream uh, between the last stream and now, so hopefully things should be a little bit more stable for my computer without too much of a drop in quality for the video the viewing experience here. But yeah, basically I am encoding in a slightly lower quality now, which is unfortunate. I had hoped to avoid having to do that. But, unfortunately, my computer simply does not have the muscle necessary to... Simply does not have the muscle necessary to, yeah, stream and record in as high quality as I would like simultaneously. Yeah, it just, just is not going to happen, unfortunately. So, it is what it is, and we will simply have to live with the... Live with what we've got. Yeah, the stream... Yeah, definitely the stream quality is down a little bit from what it what I previously had it, and I don't think I'm going to be able to increase it too much more in the near future. So if you are a video quality snob, then I highly recommend that you check out my VOD channel on YouTube, because I record in a in a higher quality than I I record in a higher quality than I stream. So let's see. Other than that, though, I think we are basically fine. So, we might as well get started here. No reason to delay. I can... there we go. Ba -ba. Video games. So yeah, we're getting pretty close to... pretty close to the end of Pokemon Snap here. We've only got one proper course left. One proper course left. We'll have some other business to wrap up. Not to spoil things too much, but... Yeah, I think we could... Eat it this stream, possibly. And so, as I stated before, as I stated at the beginning of the playthrough, I do believe... Yeah, I'm currently... I have this sort of as my... Yeah, I currently have this as a game that I am playing... Or... I started playing this game. I started playing this game because uh, because I was having some issues with uh, Arknights. I wanted to actually stream Arknights, and I was having some issues with the audio in that game. And hopefully, I haven't had consistent audio issues like I used to. I haven't had consistent audio issues like I used to. So I'm going to hope that that means that. If I do have audio issues, I can just restart the restart the emulator and not have to worry about that. But yeah, we will see. We will see what happens when that happens, though, I suppose. Yes. So, anyway, new course, Valley. But yeah, I think I tried to talk about, but never really got around to saying specifically. But, uh, I was, uh, 
messing around with my monitor also, the monitor on which I play the, this game, because I was having some issues. I was having some issues with just the game looking kind of weird. Oh, there's Goldeen. I knew that they were somewhere. I knew that they were somewhere. I guess that somewhere is here. But yeah, I had known that, that Goldeen were found somewhere. Let's see, I don't... I don't remember if I can get the Geodude to react to apple-shaped Pokemon food. Ideally, I would like to, but uh, no dice, it would seem. Very good. Oh, Sand Slash. Even got a pretty good shot of it, actually. Very good. And I think if I knock down this Geodude, it should knock down the Graveler. I might need to knock down both. I don't think I'm going to have time to get a really good shot. But at least I'll have a shot of Graveler. A pretty poor shot, all things considered, to be honest. Oh, I just realized, I don't think I saw... I don't think I got a shot of the Mankey earlier. Well, I suppose we'll probably be going down this river more than once. So yes, no Geodude here, or no, yeah, no Geodude here to knock down those Graveler. There's another way to do it, I'm pretty sure, if I recall correctly. I suppose I should probably be throwing these apples in front of me, this apple-shaped Pokemon food in front of me, if I want to get good results on any potential Goldeen photos. Because yeah, that one that I got is pretty off-center. Hmm. Alright, that's even, well, less bad actually. Not quite as bad. But yes, I need to get, I need to get a photo of your team. Alright, alright, alright. There we go. Honestly, that went a little bit better than I was expecting. Can you hit the Mankey? Ah, can I hit the Mankey, rather? Right, right, right. And do I have the right angle? Yes, I do. Very good, very good. Alright. I don't... I guess it must have just been slightly outside of the range of my crosshair. I guess that's not the word for it, but... Outside of the range of my area that I'm focused on. There we go. Another little secret. Oh. Oh, hi, Tiber. A surprise to see you here. I suppose you'd like to know why I am here. Uh, well, I received some interesting information at the Pokemon Lab. It seems that there are six Poke signs hidden on this island. They have something to do with important Pokemon that are here. The signs are scenery which seem to resemble Pokemon. One sign is a mountain that looks like Duntrio. I came here to look for it. However, I can't go any deeper into the island, so I can't find it. Have you seen a mountain that looks like Dugtrio? Oh, I have an idea. If you find this Poke sign, take a picture of it like you would a Pokemon. We might discover clues from the pictures and the places where you took them. Shall I repeat this information? No, Wait. thank you. Wait, I, should, I will add a page to the, for Poke signs to the Pokemon report. See you later. All right. So, I know that there is more to be had here. What do we got for Squirtle? We've only got one Squirtle photo, apparently. Yeah, that's nothing. That's also nothing. It's interesting that you can specifically go through pictures that are nothing. Ooh, this is a good Geodude. Yeah, definitely. The other one is more centered, but I think this one is centered enough to count. That's not a very good sand slash. We don't have any great sand slashes, but that's a better sand slash. Whoops. Sand shrew. Either of these is fine, I suppose. I guess some of those photos that I took of Geodude must have counted as sand slash. 
that'll do fine for a grappler. Hmm. That one's the most f s facing us, but it's definitely also the furthest away. And probably the worst. Yeah, star me. We only got one. Mankey. Oh yeah, we really should have taken some more Mankey photos, actually. Yeah, that definitely slipped my mind a little bit. Oh well. That should be at least one of each Pokemon that we took a picture of. Did we? Actually, hold on. I don't think we centered a Dratini, but I think also that the Dratini photos that we took didn't count. Yeah, size is okay. Pose is very good. Technique is acceptable. Wonderful. Wonderful indeed. Sand Shrew. Size. Eh. About what I expected, to be honest. Pose. It's about to pop up. It seems like it already popped up, but fair enough. Yes, right in the middle of the frame. Wonderful. Very good. Pose made up for a little bit of the poor size that we had there. Yeah, Geodude. Size. Good. Pose. Pretty good. Definitely could be more focused on us, but it's pretty nice. Wow. There are other... Oh, there is a, the other Geodude in the, in the picture. For whatever reason, I thought that the Geodude hanging on the walls didn't count. Wonderful. Hmm. Oh well. Oh yes, Graveler. The size is... Honestly, I expected better. But I guess there is a fair amount of the photo that doesn't involve a Graveler. Yes, pose is not great. Technique is Wonderful. good. Sand Slash is going to be about the same for size, I think. Pose is much better, though. Technique, good. Wonderful. Everything is fine. Star you. This one I don't think is going to be so good, but it should be okay. Wonderful. Not bad, not bad. Star me. Size is pretty poor. Pose is pretty good. Technique is acceptable. Wonderful. Good, good. Mankey? Yeah, I, I really was not on the ball with regards to Mankey, huh? You were close. Yeah. Unfortunate. Wait. Alright, back to the lab. Welcome back. Here's something to make your search for Poké Signs easier. Wouldn't it be great if the Zero One moved faster? Well, now you can use this Dash engine if you want to go faster. It's easy to use. Press R to make the Zero One move faster. Shall I repeat this information? No. First of all, see the Poké Signs page. Alright, what do we got? You have collected zero Pokémon signs. It is said that somewhere on this island is a mysterious group of huge rocks. Surprisingly, if you look at it from a certain angle, it appears to be a Pokémon shape. When light shines on an object, its shadow will appear on the wall behind it. Somewhere, there is a shadow that looks like a Pokémon. Smoke changes its shape, and some shapes look like Pokémon. Where can you find smoke? You already know. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough, we do, I guess. Have you heard of a tree near the river in the jungle that looks like Cubone? No one knows who planted it, but I have heard that someone has seen the tree. It's a mystery. Shining brightly somewhere. That's all I know about this. Somewhere in the middle of steep mountains is a mountain that looks like a Pokemon. I went to the valley to find this mountain. Yeah, I like how most of these are just just speculation. But then Poker or Professor Oak is just like, you know where smoke is. <laughs> you don't need to, me to tell you. And indeed we don't. But before we go to where smoke is, we'll go back to where our journey began. And yes, we can now, in fact, go much faster. Not fast enough to get a okay photo of the Doduo. Uh, almost, almost. But what we're really here for is the Lapras photo. Hmm, okay, that didn't count. So, what we're really here for is a sign? Maybe a sign? All right, I guess probably I didn't need to take all of those photos. Yeah, we definitely missed an opportunity for a Lapras photo earlier. 
But I guess it doesn't matter too much. But we've had some pretty good ones. And yeah, I don't think there's anything that really needs to be done here in particular. Yeah, I keep... Yeah, I keep... I don't keep pressing the home menu button. I know that much. Yeah, I keep taking multiple of the photos because I forget that the, the little beep that happens is a an artifact of the, you know, this is your first time taking a picture of this particular Pokemon. Or the, there's a special, you know, tone that sounds when you take a your first picture of a Pokemon. Not the beep that goes off when you just hover over them. Yeah, there's a special sound that goes off when you take your first photo of a Pokemon. And I keep, uh, I keep expecting that to happen. And so when it doesn't happen, I keep, I think, oh, the game hasn't registered that I took a photo. Alright, that should be, that should be pretty good. Let's see if we can get a better Chansey. Uh, not like that. <laughs> not like that, I don't think. And I suppose we will try. We will try to help me out here. There we go. Yeah, I was gonna say we will try to leave help me out here, but we'll we'll see what happens. All right, quick and easy run through the beach. Yeah. So I started talking about it again, but then I got distracted again. So, uh, yeah, I was messing around with my monitor settings. <laughs> Alright, that's not a good photo for the Pokemon report, but I do like it. It's it's a good photo for me, the individual. Oops. Yes, that's worse than what we've got. That might be better. It's probably not, though. <laughs> I don't think that's going to count for anything. Um, the Butterfree... These could be better, to be honest. That one's probably better, yeah. But yeah, so I messed with my monitor settings, and now the game image looks better, basically. I went through a whole lot of effort to say not a whole lot there. But yeah, so that should be everything. Hmm, what's new this time? Let me see, this is Do Duo. Is it an okay Do Duo? Let's find out. Oh! Okay, that that counts. Alright. It is an okay Do Duo. Well done. Very good. Yes, Butterfree. In the Pokemon report. Hmm. Worse size, interestingly. That's surprising. Unless the wingspan doesn't count. Those is worse. So this, yeah, just just plain worse, huh? That's a that's unfortunate. Yeah, this has more Lapras in the background. Size is slightly worse, I guess. Yeah, it is lower in the water a little bit. It is a relaxed pose. The technique, and will the extra Lapras give me extra points? Oh. It, well, I mean, yeah, it does it give me more points, but not enough to make the difference. Oh. Oh, this is exactly the Pokemon sign I've been looking Wonderful. for. Wonderful. Your work is impeccable. Keep up the good work. Wait. Wait, Tiber, let's return to the lab. Welcome back. You take pictures at a good pace Here to make your work easier. You. Here is a present for you. It will come in handy for taking Pokemon pictures. Would you like to see rare Pokemon poses? Play this Poke Flute to make it happen. It's easy to use. The C Down button allows you to play the Poke Flute. You can listen to different music by using C Down. Try playing it often. Shall I repeat this information? No, thank you. Yes. So, I'm trying to think. I believe that we could, we could get a better Chansey photo with the Poke Flute, I do believe. The question is, do we care that much? How much, how good is our Chansey photo? Oh, it's very bad, actually. <laughs> it's very bad. 
So you know what? Let's, whoops, let's leave this screen. And instead, let's return to the beach very briefly. Yes. We may not be, it may take a little bit longer than I was expecting, but then again, most of the Pokemon Snap streams have only been about an hour. Huh. Alright, C down is not down on the... Ah! Yeah, I was gonna say, it's not down on the... Oh. But yeah, it's not down on the B pad, so I wasn't sure what it was. But, uh, yes, it's down on the C stick. Which makes sense. <laughs> I guess I probably should have assumed that the C button corresponded with the C stick. Very nice. Very good pose. Yeah, one thing that I didn't know is that, uh, yeah, the different songs that you can play do cause uh, Snorlax to react differently. Possibly other Pokemon too, but uh, Snorlax is the only one that I've observed this behavior in so far. Pretty okay, Lapras. I do think that the the prompt, the name prompt, has to come up for the for the photo to count. With regards to these Lapras and other other situations where taking a picture of a, of a particular Pokemon is necessary for some sort of a some sort of event. So I think. Think. All right, maybe not. All right, probably the dance may make up for the rather poor pose. Oh, that me out this vanished. Oop. Okay, I need to. Well, I guess it's not necessarily a bad thing to be playing the poke. Ooh, we can get some good pidgeys here, actually. Yeah. Not necessarily a bad thing to be playing the Poke Flute, but I do need to be careful so that it doesn't go off all the time, necessarily. Because, yeah, I've been using the C stick back and forth to do the rapid direction changes. Yeah, for whatever reason, I thought that the C stick corresponded with the directional pad, and the directional pad corresponded with the C buttons. I don't know why I thought that, to be honest, but... Oh well. Yeah, this is almost certainly the best Snorlax photo we have. It's perfectly centered, it's very large. That's gonna be a much better Butterfree. I don't think any of the Lapras photos here are going to really compare with the one that we've already got. So we're not going to concern ourselves with it. Hmm, I don't like this one. I don't like this one. I don't think that's gonna work. I think that will do better. That photo does make it look a little bit like we're about to be attacked by the Pidgey. Yes. Hmm, what's new this time? Let's see, this is Snorlax. Size is only marginally better. The yeah, pose is I don't know, I thought I'd get some bonus for making him dance, but oh well. Technique is acceptable, so it's a bit of an improvement, not a huge one. Butterfree should be a significant, but not like massive, massive improvement. Oops. Fair enough, I guess. <laughs> Alright. And Chansey, this is going to be much better. Size is pretty good. Pose is... Well, po pose is passable. The pose is passable. Okay, okay. Well done. So yeah, I guess just playing the Poke Flute isn't necessarily enough to give you a special pose bonus, unless it elicits a special response, I suppose. But yes, pose, 1,000. 
Yeah, definitely the size is the biggest, biggest difference here. Well done. This extra Pidgey is apparently worth more than the other extra Pidgey for whatever reason. Hmm, I probably should have read that dialogue, huh? Back. Something something Pokemon sign. Something something secret course. Yes. I was trying to be a little bit subtle when I hinted at it earlier. Let's see, does this Pikachu react to the poker flute? No, this Pikachu does not like music. Will this Electabuzz? Yes, he did not respond to the, to the flute. Yeah, anyway, I don't think there's anything here that we particularly care for. Hmm. I should maybe adjust my classic controller. Because I'm definitely not pressing the pop or the home menu button. And I'm definitely but I definitely am pressing C down, apparently. Yes, this Pikachu, however, will respond. And it'll respond in a big way. Question mark. Look at that. Oops. What's this guy doing? Yes, I think... I don't... I think all of these specters are the same. I think all these these creatures are the same, so I don't need to worry about getting different ones. I looked at for a little bit like that Zubat ran directly into Zapdos' lightning, and I was going to be concerned for it, but it seems to be fine, I suppose. I feel like the background music has changed slightly. Oh, apparently, apparently using the uh, using an item cancels the the poke flute song. Yeah. That kind of music definitely feels slightly different now. Oh. Look at that. Yeah, I think... I might be wrong, but I think if you manually trigger these two Electabuzz, they will... Yeah, they will... turn on this light, I think. You don't strictly need to... You don't strictly need to... have Zapdos do it. I don't. Let's see. Okay, no, the the Poké Flute will not allow me to interact with the Magnemite in a meaningful way. Let's see. Yeah, once you get close enough to the goal, you can no longer boost, which is why I do not boost directly into the goal. Yes, another quick and easy course. That's. Definitely going to be worse, so we're not going to not going to bother submitting it. That is Pikachu. Pikachu looks cool. I think this photo this photo is pretty cool in general. This photo is pretty cool, and it's probably also the biggest and most centered. Yeah, this is Haunter. The other one's Haunter. I was wondering a little bit if it might be if the other one might be Gengar, like that one. That one there was Gengar. We know that the other one in the room with the Electabuzz and the projectors. We know that that one is also Haunter. Yeah, I was thinking that one could possibly be yes. Ghastly. Did I say Gengar? I think I said Gengar. I meant Ghastly. That's it. Hmm, what's new this time? Let me see, this is Pikachu. Pikachu's picture is in the Pokemon report already. Uh, apparently that is not that pose is not special enough. Which... Oh, that's Pika! It is. It is. Alright, so that... That's a pretty okay photo. But I'm, I'm gonna keep the better one. I will... I will... Allow the game to dictate what is a good and good, is not good, a good... Let's try that again. I will allow the game to dictate what is and is not a good photo and will respond roughly... I will, yeah. 
I don't know how to phrase this. I will defer to the game's judgment. Let's leave it at that. Oh, oh what a thunder jolt. The yes, technique is good. Wonderful. Pretty good photo of a newly born legendary Pokemon. Let me see, this is Electabuzz. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be so much better than our previous Electabuzz photo. Oh, it looks yummy. Technique is good, and we've got another Electabuzz. So I think that's probably one of our one of our better photos, if not our best. It, oh, probably not our best. Mm, oh, this is exactly the Pokemon sign I've been looking for. Wonderful, your work is impeccable. Keep up the good work. If you collect all the Pokemon signs, you will be able to enter the secret course. Welcome back. All right. So yeah, does the does the image change once you've gotten? Yes, yes, it changes to the photo you've taken. Of course, it was very clever of you to activate the generator with Zapdos's electrical shock. Okay, so yeah, it does require Zapdos. This shadow looks like Pinsir. I will call this the Pinsir Shadow. We'll check the rest of them once we've collected all of them. Because yeah, I'd forgotten that it actually updates. I guess I don't know why it wouldn't. But, oh well. Yeah, so Volcano. Yes. I know where the Pokemon sign is. But I'm trying to think, is there anything else that needs to be done? I could maybe do with a better Rapidash, perhaps? There we go. It's funny... It's funny how some Pokémon have Pokémon cries, and others just kind of make the noise of a creature. Because, like, that Rapidash just made a horse noise. Just a normal horse noise. Not not any sort of Rapidash noise. I guess, I mean, I guess that's what a Rapidash sounds like, if that's what a Rapidash sounds like, but still. Let's see, I think... I know I've gotten a picture of Charmeleon, but I think I can probably get a better one. Oh, right, maybe not like that. Yes, I know that we can instigate a conflict here. Yeah, I've gotten Magmar, right? Hmm. I don't feel great about that that Charmeleon. Hmm. I guess I should have taken the opportunity to gather up the Charizard and let them let them root a little bit because that's a thing that they do. Let's instigate some more conflict. Oh right, right. I remembered another thing that I don't think I did last time. Something that definitely needs to be done. No doubt about it. Ooh, first try. Very good, very good. Let's see, can we get both Growlithe and a photo at the same time? Yes, yes we can. And we can get him to dance a little bit. Not Arcanine, though. He doesn't seem terribly interested. We will leave this Charmeleon in peace. He's suffered enough at our hands. And that is another course down. So, yeah, we might be... Might be going a little bit better than I expected. <laughs> a little bit faster than I was expecting. But yes, that will be a sign. It's not a very good one, I don't think, but it'll be okay. And that's a much worse Rapidash than we had previously, special pose or no. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that's a Magmar. This is definitely going to be a better Magmar. And do we have... Hmm. I don't feel like either of these Charmeleon are particularly good Charmeleon photos, but... We will live with what we have. Hmm. No, I don't. I think the size is going to matter more. Because, yeah, getting. Having more Growlithe isn't going to multiply our points. Having more Growlithe, or the point bonus that we get for having more Growlithe, is not going to be doubled. 
whereas the yeah, whereas the size bonus will be. Oops. Yeah, the size bonus will be, but the others won't. Sit. Hmm, what's new this time? Let's see, this is Charmeleon. Let's see, size is size is passable. Pose is better. Technique is nah. Not gonna help. Not gonna help. Yeah, definitely pretty, pretty bad. Pretty bad size. Wow, isn't this fighting magmar? Fighting magmar has a value of 800 points. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder what uh, constitutes special versus just a special pose. It's unstable. How's the technique? Very good. Wow. I guess. I guess the special. Special versus just having a particular pose is, I think, more, yeah. more so a matter of, yeah, if you have to do something particular to make it happen. Because, yeah, pose is mostly just where they are, basically. Where, if they are facing you, that sort of thing. This is Arcanine. Mm. Oh. oh, so many embers. I don't see a whole lot of embers, but I'll trust your judgment, Professor Oak. You're the professional, not me. Growl. How's the size? Not good. How's the pose? Oh, tons of embers. Once again, I don't see it, but... Alright, right in the center of the frame. Very good, very good. Oh, Oh, this is exactly the poke sign I've been looking for. Wonderful. Your work is impeccable. Keep up the good work. Alright. So, a couple more Pokemon, another Pokemon sign. Welcome back. Let's see. Next is the river. Do we have anything in the river that we haven't gotten yet? We've already got Bulbasaur. Yes. We already have Bulbasaur. I'm pretty sure there is a Pokemon that we have not seen here. I'm pretty sure. Actually, hold on. Now that I realize it, do we ever submit a picture of Goldeen? I don't think we got a Goldeen photo that counted as a Goldeen photo. Because I definitely got a photo with Goldeen in it, I think. I definitely got a photo with Goldeen in it, I think. Oh no, yeah, I know... I know at least one of the new Pokémon that's here. I know it, because it's right over there. Very good, very good. Very good, very good. But yes, Vileplume is in fact not the specific Pokemon that I was thinking of when I was uh, talking about thinking that there was a new Pokemon here. Me? Hmm. I was kind of hoping we could maybe get the Shelter to calm down a little bit if we played some music for them. But they are not visibly present, so... All right, no, no bites. So let's just go about what I had planned. If I can make any of my my shots count. All right. You probably can guess what I'm aiming for, the Psyduck. But <laughs> you can probably guess what I'm aiming for if you are at all familiar with Psyduck. Previously, I wasn't able to get anything in particular to happen here. But I'm not... Are there, there, there were two cloister over there for some reason. Okay, so I definitely hit it there. It definitely made a sound. So I guess... I guess it is just I'm misremembering. Yeah, I thought... I thought... Have we ever exited through this... the main exit of this stage? I just realized. I don't think we have. Hmm. Anyway, so yeah, I was thinking that, that Golduck was there, that I could take a picture of Golduck, but now that I have hit Psyduck and not caused anything to happen, I think that that's just not true. I think it's just not true. So this is a pretty bad magic card, but you know what? We'll submit it anyway. Let's see. Probably we can get one... I think? No. No, we've already established that a dance is not necessarily, doesn't necessarily 
do anything for you. So I think probably, yeah, it's probably best to prioritize a picture where it's facing directly towards us. That is almost certainly a worse cloister, but I've been wrong before. Yes. Yeah, I'm expecting the magic carp to be worse. I'm expecting it to be surprised on the cloister. Can you expect to be surprised? I don't think you can now that I think about it. Because yeah, if you're expecting the unexpected, then if something unexpected happens, then it's not a surprise. Yes, you can expect the unexpected, but you can't expect to be surprised, I don't think. Great. Yes, technique, yeah, I was expecting that. You can definitely expect your technique to not be good if it doesn't seem to be good. Yes, bio plume is size, okay. Okay, so that does count as special for a dance, so I could have gotten a slightly bigger bio plume. Hmm. Yes, yeah, right here the frame. I'm kind of inconsistent about what does and doesn't count. Or maybe I guess, I don't know, maybe I just had bad timing previously. So, cloister. Ooh, yeah, that's a lot worse for size. Those are the same. No other improving factors. So, yeah, the first cloister is definitely much improved. But yes, Pokemon sign. Wonderful. But yes, so next we go to the cave. And yeah, we're really, really flying through the, the end game here. Really flying through the end game here. But yeah, so I guess to preempt to preempt the thought, uh, if we finish if we finish Pokemon Snap here tonight, I am not going to start up Arknights right away. That's gonna require some other some additional setup or some switching of things over. And I don't think I feel like doing that, basically, today. Yes. yes. So, let's see. We need to... We need to save all three Jigglypuff. We need to save all three... Oh, hold on. Right, I forgot about you entirely. <laughs> I completely forgot that there were Grimer on this level. Oh, what a fool I am. I was looking in the wrong direction this whole time. Yeah. So, not only Grimer... But I do believe, I think there's also Muck, maybe, maybe not, hmm, can we get it to eat, perhaps, hmm, Grimer doesn't seem to be interested in eating. Hmm, I was certain that there was Muck here also. And maybe there is, but we still haven't conclusively... Don't do that. We still haven't conclusively ruled out the presence of Muck. We haven't exactly confirmed it either, but... Okay, there's the other coughing. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't like that. Okay, that's a hit. And yeah, this one's just going to have to be a long shot. Speaking of a long shot, I feel like this Poke Sign's a little bit of a long shot, too. And you will see that once we have gotten it, but... Alright. No, it doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Oh well. Whoops. So yeah, I think... If I remember correctly, you can also free this Pikachu from the Zubat's vile clutches. Maybe not with the aim like that, but it's something that you can possibly do, I do believe. Anyway, not a great Articuno photo, but it's an Articuno photo. Oops. Wrong way. Uh, now nah, we're not going to get a, a good jinx. Oh well. I already took some jinx photos. All right, Jigglypuff does not like does not like me playing music at, at their concert. I'm not Jigglypuff's opening act. 
One day we'll save all those Jigglypuff, maybe. Maybe. But today may not be that day. Do we want to give it another try? I kind of want to give it another try, to be honest. Yeah, that... I feel like I'm going to get disqualified for the size on that Grimer. But I'm definitely going to get disqualified for the pose on that Grimer, I think. But if we get disqualified on pose, we will get more points than if we get disqualified on size. Yeah, like I said, that Poke Sign is one that doesn't really resemble what it's supposed to resemble. That'll be better. That's got a better size on it. Yes. Sit. So yeah, so in case there was any concern, my throat's definitely feeling a lot better from last time. But yes. Size is just, just good enough. Pose is just good enough. This is not a great photo. It's the worst photo that we have that has gotten a technique bonus, I think. But, uh, yeah, not a great photo. But yes, size is... Close. Hmm. Size is very bad. Okay. We're gonna give it at least one more try. But yes, size is worse. Pose is better. Oh, well, 200 points is... Yeah, that'll make up the difference, I suppose. And extra jinx. So... Could have been, yeah, not a whole lot of extra jinx. Improved, but not by much. Bigly puff. Yes. I guess it. I guess it doesn't count for the special bonus because it's not performing. All right. And yeah, it being angry is also not uh, not anything, not anything we want to oh. see. Oh, this is exactly the Pokemon sign Wonderful. I've been looking for. All right. All right, all right, all right. Welcome back. So, I I was yes. so certain. I was so certain that there's a Grimer here somewhere. Or, no, there's Grimer here. <laughs> we established that. I was so certain that there was a Muck here somewhere. All right. Will the Grimer eat if we don't hit it? Seems that the answer is no, still. The Grimer is not a hungry, a hungry fellow. So, I wonder if... I don't think going fast is necessarily going to throw off the Jigglypuff cycle. I think it just spawns when you get close enough. Can we... Alright, now Grimer will not respond to music. Alright, I think, actually, we might be able to get the coughing to spawn earlier by defeating the other coughing earlier. Yeah, just to double check there's no there's no muck around here. Ah, okay. So that one definitely does seem to have spawned faster. And getting the second one spawned quicker is definitely gonna be a big help in getting this one into range. All right, we're not too far off, but I need to leave my shot more. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. All right, so I think this is the run. I do believe that this is the run. And we'll see if we can free Pikachu again. I'm not 100% sure that it, you can do it. Maybe you can do it, but maybe I can't. <laughs> oh. All right, Pikachu is not... Pikachu's free. Pikachu's free. Very good. Very good. Alright, we did it. Hmm. Very nice. Will Pikachu land? Pikachu did land. I realize I'm ignoring the birth of a legendary Pokemon to watch Pikachu uh, caper around, but... Hmm. That could have been a lot better. <laughs> For one of my stated objectives being getting a better photo of Articuno, I really didn't focus on getting a better photo of Articuno. 
at least uh, Articuno is going to turn around and rejoin us. So I just need to not hurry too much. And yeah, this one, honestly, this one's kind of a freebie. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't even know you could get Pikachu on, on Articuno's back. We're learning all sorts of things today. Ah, hey, Pic. Good to see you. But yeah, we're just wrapping up our adventure here, basically. We've got to head back to the valley, get some more photos. But uh, yeah, by and large, we're pretty much done here. Yeah, thank you for dropping by. You definitely have plenty of stream ahead of us, so don't no need to worry about that. Gotta go to bed soon, too. Gotcha, gotcha. Yes. What do we... Do I have a picture of Pikachu? No, I don't have a, a picture of Pikachu that counts as Pikachu being on Pikachu being on Articuno's back. So I think the flying Pikachu is going to get more points than just the electric Pikachu. The Pikachu is always electric, basically. But yes. Not every Pikachu flies, but almost every Pikachu can do some sort of lightning-based abilities. And I called that a freebie, but I really didn't get a great Jigglypuff photo. You know, you know that's going to be... That's a good Jigglypuff photo. I would maybe even go so far as to say that by this game's standards, it is great. But it's not amazing. Yes. It's not going to be an amazing photo. It's not going to be the best it could have been. But that's fine. Sit. All right, Primer. Primer's picture. This is going to be a little bit better in size, but it's going to be a lot better in pose, I think. Yeah, much improved. Hmm. Even without the technique bonus, it does count. Yeah, I guess it was a little bit off-center. Wow, is this Balloon Pikachu? Balloon Pikachu has a value of 1,600 points. You know what? People... I... It always annoys me a little bit when people say like 1600 or like, you know, 1500 instead of 1600. But uh, people say it often enough that it kind of rubbed off on me, I guess. I don't know why. Well, no, I do know why. I do know why it, why it annoys me when people say that. It's because when I was younger, I was very bad at very bad at understanding what that meant. I always I always assumed wrong basically when someone said, you know, such a number because I would always confuse it with like, you know, 1600 with like 16,000 basically I always got that confused and it never really was it was never particularly intuitive to me you know and it's still I don't know I can I can see where they come from now when they say that I wouldn't say that it's intuitive but I can at least comprehend it the yeah, size is not good but we've not it's not that much worse Pose is much worse, though. Alright, so... Unfortunate. I do kind of like Balloon Pikachu more. You know what? We're gonna treat ourselves. Wow! Wow, isn't this Jigglypuff Trio on stage? Jigglypuff Trio on stage has a value of 12,000 points. Jigglypuff's picture is in the Pokemon report already. How's the size? Slightly better. How's the pose? Oh, it's singing cheerfully. Exactly the same. How's the technique? Acceptable. Wow. There are other Jigglypuff in the photo. Extra bonus. Very yeah. nice. Very nice. Let me see. This is Articuno. Articuno's picture is in the Pokemon report already. Not that much better on size, but oh well. 1,006... or 1,600. <laughs> I was too distracted by what I was talking about before. Yes, 1,000. Pose? Yep. You don't get anything for the Pikachu, interestingly enough. Hmm. Now I kind of want to... Come back. Now I kind of want to get a picture of Pikachu on Articuno's back that counts as Pikachu. You know, we'll give it, we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. All right, so you've already established that there's no muck here. There's no muck in the immediate area anyway. Yeah, nothing. 
that would seem to suggest the presence of Mux. Where's the Grimer? Where'd Grimer go? Did I... Did it not have time to spawn? Or did I need to take pictures of the other Grimer or something? Huh. Maybe if I do interact with those Grimer in some way, they'll spawn a muck, and I'm misremembering. Honestly, I feel kind of bad about just leaving Jigglypuff to be bothered by this coughing, so we'll help. It doesn't benefit us a whole lot. It doesn't benefit us a whole lot, and we can't save all of them at this point, I don't think. Unless I show off some really finely honed apple-shaped Pokemon food throwing abilities that I have yet to demonstrate. Yeah, so definitely... Yeah, okay. It seems to be not necessarily based on when the when you get there that the Jigglypuff and the Coughing spawn. It seems to be based on when you free the previous one. So the first one is the only one that's timing-based. All the rest are, yeah, based on your actions. All right, there we go. We free Pikachu again. And so yeah, so we'll need to we'll need to free Articuno. Free feels like a weird way to phrase it, considering that he's simply being born. But hmm. yeah, we couldn't have, we can't really have done much better there. I don't think. Because yeah, I don't think we could have triggered the Jinx to act any sooner than they did. Because, yeah, we had the Poke Flute going for a little while. We had the Poke Flute going for a little while before any anything happened. So. So, yeah, this time we're really going to focus on getting that picture of Pikachu. Because, yeah, I was pretty sure that we took a picture that had Pikachu's name come up during this sequence earlier. And if nothing else, we have we have done so now. I know I saw it. I will not be persuaded otherwise. All right, looks like yeah, Pikachu is on on their way out. All right, so if that doesn't count as a Pikachu photo, then I will be I will be upset. Yeah, I probably won't be that upset to be honest, but I will not be pleased. This is going to be bad, but we might as well try, I suppose. Yeah, only two. And if we had to pick of the two, that one's probably better. Hmm. Yeah, the reason why I wanted to go with one of these, even though they're pretty bad, well, if we're going to get a shot from behind, I guess this one's slightly less bad. Yeah, the reason why I wanted to go for it is because I'm pretty sure you get a bonus for... You know, taking a picture of it as it's in its animation emerging from the egg. Yes. So I guess, I guess I'll try interacting with those Grimer again to see if that. Oh well. I'll try interacting with those Grimer again to see if. Wow, isn't this flying Pikachu? Flying Pikachu has a value of two thousand points. Yeah. Because, yeah, like, 2,000, like, 20 hundred would, it is, I, I don't like it. I don't like the, the thought that one could, would say something like 20 hundred. Yeah. Size, bad. You are close. Oh. We're going to treat ourselves. Because <laughs> I worked hard for that. I worked hard for that picture. Welcome back. All right. So. We're going to go to the cave yes. once again. We're going to go to the cave once again. We're going to take as many photos of Grimer as the game will allow us. Or at least as many distinct photos of Grimer as the game will allow us. As many photos of distinct Grimer as the game will allow us, perhaps even. Perhaps that is a distinction to make. Because yeah, that first Grimer spawned. 
and the second Grimer also spawned last time, but the third one didn't spawn, I don't think. This feels like a place a Grimer could spawn, but one evidently has not. Hmm. Alright, so we're definitely getting more Grimer here than previously. So I may still be wrong, but I think that, yeah, taking these Grimer photos is... Taking these Grimer photos is definitely making more Grimer appear. I don't know that that has any implications on whether or not a Muck is going to appear, I guess. But... Yeah, there's none here. There's none here. And we'll free as many Jigglypuff as we can, of course. Yeah, again, no obvious signs of Muck. No obvious... Oh, there we go. I was going to say, no other obvious signs of the second coughing, either. And can we do it? There we go. I think it's probably a little bit too late, though, especially now that I've accelerated. But, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to nail this shot. But, like I said, I've been wrong before. But it looks like I'm right this time. Alright, so, we will free Pikachu. I'll check around just in case there could be a muck anywhere else, but I don't think so. Hmm, did that? Okay, that did count. That did count. Alright. So we got the Poké Flute going. Got the Poké Flute going. Jinx has happened. Jinx has happened at, I think, probably, again, the earliest possible opportunity for it to have done anything. Oh. That was odd. Yeah, so Jinx has begun, began hatching the egg as early as I think it probably could have. As she probably could have, I guess. But, yeah, we didn't get a much different result in terms of Articuno, which is a little bit surprising to me, because I was pretty sure you could get a better photo of it hatching. I guess, again, it might just be a matter of getting a photo of it from behind. Getting a photo of it from behind still counting. Because being in a special pose might be enough to win us the day, so to speak. Alright, can we... No, we cannot keep up. Because, yeah, we've run out of road, so to speak. Alright. So, no Pokemon. That. Eh. No, that's, that's gonna be bad. None of these Grimer are particularly good, but that's probably the best one we have. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not enthused about any of these Articuno photos. I think probably that one has the most Pikachu in it. Pikachu is the least obscured by anything else. So that'll probably be the best. That might be enough. That might have enough size to it to get us through to the next step. Sip. <laughs> oh yes. Well, uh, it's good. It's good. 2000 is good. 2000 I can, I can definitely live with. Yes, Articuno. Size. Much better. Oh, pose. Oh, how beautiful. There we go. Yes, this is the Articuno image that we've been looking for. Alright. And this is Flying Pikachu, indeed. Yes, size. You were close. Well done. Well. We'll live with it. We'll live with it. I'll I'll allow this to I will let it ride. Yes. Valley time. So I know that there's 
Oh, there we go. I know that there's at least one more Pokemon to be had here. At least one more. Well, no, there's more than, far more than just one more. Yeah, far more than just one more. But I did sort of, I forgot a little bit how to make it happen, now that I think about it. Hmm. Let's see. This Mankey doesn't seem to be interested in interacting with us in any meaningful way. Yeah, I don't feel the need to interact with them at all. Yes. Can I bother this Mankey in any way? Yes. All right, I do need to. I do need to aim for a gold beam. I do need to aim for a gold beam. Very good. Hmm. Let's see. Is this? It's not doing anything, unfortunately. Have to star you. Now you can get more star you by taking pictures of more star you, basically. I might have missed an opportunity for one, though, unfortunately. Oop. Hmm. Alright, well, we've definitely missed an opportunity for one. But, it should be what it is anyway. Maybe not fine, but it is what it is. There we go. So that's not the one I was- I had in mind. Uh, listen to that fella's voice. Yeah, not the one I had in mind. And will that work? Yes, it will. Because yes, there is definitely another Pokemon that we could find here. And we'll just worry about getting a good Mankey. All right, so this is definitely the first time that we cleared this this course by the regular exit, given that it's our second time here. That's it. Now, given my de my decision to sip less less at a time, but more frequently, we may be reaching a point where it is no longer sustainable for me to say sip every time I take a sip. Hmm, that's probably not going to be a good one. That's probably going to count one of the other Graveler instead of the one that I was really focused on. None of these are an improvement, I don't think. That's probably the best pose. Yeah, all, all of these are an improvement by, by a long shot. All right, so, Graveler, how's the size? Worse. How's the pose? Much better. How's the technique? Very good. Other Graveler in the photo? Well done. Not bad, not bad. Dragonite? This is Dragonite. Did we... Now that I think about it, did we get a Dratini before? I don't think we got Dratini or Goldeen, actually. Oh, it's Dragonite. <laughs> It is Dragonite. It is. Pokemon is right in the middle of the frame. Wonderful. Yes, Mankey. What do we got? Size, much better. Pose. Scorable, given the that it has an acceptable size. Technique, good. Well done. Very good, very good. I can oh. definitely live with that. Exactly Wonderful. the Pokemon sign. And so that is all of our Pokemon signs, but it's not all of our Pokemon. Welcome back. Welcome back. You finally got all of the Pokemon sign pictures. Hmm. hmm. After looking at these six pictures, I've noticed that the signs are just like the constellations that can be seen from Pokemon Island. That's the key to this it's mystery. Now it all makes sense. It's the sky. Rainbow cloud floating in the sky is the secret course. Someone in the clouds must have created the Pokemon signs. I've made a new path to the Rainbow Cloud. This could prove very important for Pokemon research. Good luck, Tybiro. 
And so, like I said, we're going to read the description of the Pokemon signs now that we've seen them. Isn't it, isn't it amazing that a simple rock like this turned out to be a Pokemon sign? If you look at it from this angle, it looks like Kingler. I will call this Kingler Rock. You hit it with a pester ball? Ha ha ha, this smoke looks like coughing. I will call this coughing smoke. The tree looked dim because of Vile Plume's powder. Hmm, it looks like Cubone. I will call this the Cubone tree. I had no idea what this was at all, about until I saw your picture. Yeah, I think this looks like Mewtwo. Could this be the constellation called Mewtwo? Maybe. Maybe. It's interesting that Professor Oak didn't feel the need to give a name to that one. This mountain looks like a Pokemon. This is it. This is the Pokemon sign. Is this Diglett? No, it's Dugtrio. I will call this Mount Dugtrio. Yes. So, Pokemon report. How are we doing just in general? Is there any... Okay, Shelder. I could make Shelder into a white whale of mine. But I think we're just gonna... I'm just gonna let Shelder be, to be honest. Oops. Yeah, we're gonna just let Shelter be. When this when this uh, report gets published, there's just not gonna be a very good picture of Shelter in it, and we're just gonna have to live with that. This is a secret course. In that case, I should find the rarest Pokemon. But not yet. Not yet. There's more to be found here. I didn't look super closely when I was, uh... Yeah, didn't look super closely when I was looking at the... Actually, can... Hmm. Hmm. We might actually be able to interact with the Shelder. Or Shelder? Sorry, Squirtle. Squirtle in some meaningful way. Or maybe not. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I was, I was thinking that I might need to knock the shelter into the Mankey, but no, that is inaccurate. There we go. Oh, well, that wasn't a good picture of Goldeen, but it was almost certainly a picture of Goldeen. If that doesn't count as a Goldeen, I don't know what does. We're going to keep doing this until we get a Goldeen. Like a better Goldeen. Yeah, unfortunately, there is a fairly significant delay. Fairly significant delay on your zooming in speed. Yeah, I guess I don't think I actually need to interact with that Mankey. But, you know, I wanted to see if it would do anything. Hmm, maybe I did, because... Hmm. Let's see. Ah, here we are. Here we are. Very good, very good. So, where's the... There it is. That's another star you. That's another star you. How many can we get? All right. All right, that should count as, you know, a Dratini also. All right, these are pretty, some pretty bad, <laughs> some pretty bad Starmies, but maybe, given the specialness of this moment, Okay, so yeah, we definitely didn't get a Dratini before. We're not going to get a very good Dratini, I don't think, unless one of those other Dratini counts as a, as a Dratini. So yeah, since we didn't knock the Mankey off, no Mankey here. We sure are pretty far on the right. I don't think we were this far on the right of the river previously. Interesting. Sit. 
it, this is this is definitely shaping up to be a pretty reasonably yeah dude yeah a pretty reasonably okay that's graveler that's not a good goldine but it's a goldine so you know that's bad I don't think Professor Oak's gonna like that. He'll probably like that better. All right, these are also all pretty bad, but the previous one was much worse, so that should count for something. Hmm. Yeah, no good Dratini. You might be able to get some bonus points on the pose. Do we? Where's Where's Where'd Gyarados go? Okay, there we go. I was worried there that I didn't get a photo that counted as Gyarados. None of these are great. I think that one's the fullest. The best. That's going to be bad for size. Professor Oak will not like it, but... Yes. Oh well, oh well. Goldine, size, pose. Oh, that's a good splash. Okay, okay. So we do, it does make up for the lack of facing. Wonderful. Good, good. Magikarp, we'll see if this does anything. The size is bad. No. You were close. I was thinking that maybe the uh, fact that it was splashing into the waterfall might give me something, but no, the size just wasn't there. Got Gyarados, pretty good. Pose, it just showed its face. It's, it's pretty close to it, I guess. Right in the middle of the Wonderful. frame. I can live with that. Yes, yeah, star you. Size, good. Pose, all right. Technique, good. Well done. Not bad, not great, but not bad. Star me. Size, much better. Pose, mm, mm, a fair amount right. worse. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I can, I can see that. I can see that. I'm not mad at that. Stratini. You were close. All right, so welcome back. I missed the dialogue that he was said about Rainbow Cloud, so I'm gonna do this map again. Yes. Not just because I want to get a better Dratini photo. The Dratini photo does definitely does definitely factor into it. Do not do not mistake me. Yes, the Dratini photo does factor into it, but it's not the only factor. Let's see. I was thinking I could knock the Squirtle onto onto the land around uh, Mankey. And that would count for something. Hmm. How did we do this before? It wasn't... Was it throwing apples? I thought I was throwing a pester ball at the at the water to make the magic card fly towards Nanky. I guess we're maybe just not gonna get another chance. And that's fine, to be honest. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Most of this course isn't really anything to us at this point. Yeah, we can skip pretty pretty well. We can try to get a better. We can try. There we go. I was gonna say we can try to get better star me's, star use. Star everyone's. Star we sounds like the name of a unconvincing unconvincing hoax. Unconvincing hoax Pokemon. Hmm. Can we get an okay? That was not bad, but it definitely wasn't good either. You really just can't land on target with these Dratini photos, huh? Well, we definitely passed up our opportunity to get a really good one, so. If indeed they're really. All right, uh, that startled me a little bit, to be honest. Hmm. 
All right, so maybe we haven't passed up our opportunity to get a really good Dratini photo, actually. Because, yeah, they're uh, pretty common, actually. They're pretty common. All right, not going to get any more here, I don't think, though. I wonder if that's just based on timing or based on, or, like, whether it's based on my proximity to the goal or to that point, that, the, that point's proximity to the goal. But yes. The Dratini jump scare was very funny. The Dratini jump scare was very funny. So I'm gonna save I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna save a lot of it, actually. Did that not count as a Dratini photo? I guess there's very little Dratini in the photo. But yes. These Star U photos are very bad. This one, no, no, that one could be something, but I don't think so, to be honest. Goldine, is that, no, that's definitely worse. Not as good, not as good. Yes. The Dratini jump scare is definitely, uh, definitely a moment that I'm going to remember. Definitely a real moment that I'm going to remember fondly from this stream. Size is not sufficient. We'll keep the other one. Dratini. This Dratini is definitely... This is definitely Dratini from behind. But the size is there. The pose is also there because it's a, a special sort of pose, I guess. Alright, alright. I'm not mad at that. Take pictures of Pokemon that live on the rainbow cloud. And you know what? I suppose we might as well just go and do that. Yes. So, what kind of sights await us on the rainbow cloud? Oh, look at this little fella. Can't get a photo of him just yet, it seems like. He's got the same sort of electromagnetic shielding that our good friend uh, Magnemite earlier had. Yes, this is our final boss, so to speak. Let's see, was it? Where are you? I don't think... Yeah, I do not believe that the Poke Flute will uh, benefit us in any way here. But I'll tell you what will benefit us, keeping our head on a swivel. Oh dear. There we go. Yeah, I was thinking that the bubble flying towards us was an indicator that Mew was going to start spawning behind us. But I think that just indicating that the phase changed, basically. Yes, this is a multi-phase boss fight. Alright. There we go. There we go, there we go. Alright, that wasn't very good. Alright, the classic controller is definitely giving me some not to not to make excuses for myself, but it's definitely giving me some weird inputs. I guess I do have my my left index finger resting on the left bumper. So that was Yeah, that was uh believable in my mind as something that could have uh, reasonably gone wrong. Yeah, definitely, definitely believable in my mind as something that could have gone wrong, genuinely. Whereas I definitely, I will hold that I was not pressing the home button. Let's see, yeah, playing the Poke Flute won't impact us in any meaningful way here. Okay, that was... Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what was up with that. Yeah, one one thing that I just noticed for the first time here, too, is that the, the music, like, responds to sort of the state of Mew. 
So like when when you are in a position. All right, I definitely didn't move the camera there. I definitely didn't move the camera there. So I think, yeah, we're definitely getting some erroneous inputs out of the classic controller, which considering that this thing is, I don't even know how old it is at, at this point. When did the Wii come out now that I think about it? Or I guess, let's just say Wii Classic Controller. Because I don't think the, the Classic Controller wasn't released alongside the Wii, I don't think. Classic Controller, when did this come out? 2006. So yeah, this is about se a 17-ish year old piece of hardware. I don't know when I got it precisely, but yeah, about 17 years. So if it's starting to fail on me a little bit, I guess it can be forgiven. But yes, not good. Not a good photo, that is. But yes, the size. The size is very bad on this one, but... The size is very bad, but I think it might count for something. This, I think, would make a good thumbnail, probably, for the stream. So that's why I'm keeping it. But yeah, the, the back... The Mew looking back to us, I think, makes a very good photo. Makes a better photo than any of the others, even if the size is not there. Yes, the rare Pokemon Mew has a value of 2,500 points. How's the size? No. <laughs> Don't waste my time with things like this. Wait. All right, so. Welcome back. Welcome back. You made it. You made it, Tiber. I never believed that Mew lived on this island. Our Pokemon report now has a very memorable picture. Thank you, Tibero. This is all because of your hard work. It was so nice to find a photographer as good as you. Bye for now, but I'll see you later, Tibero. See you. Well then, see you. Ooh. <laughs> is that is that our, our best is that our best side up? Honestly, that feels more like a... Honestly, that feels like a shot that the game would consider a Cloyster shot rather than a Psyduck shot. Honestly, it's not a bad Psyduck shot. It's kind of funny, the framing of it. Definitely would have preferred a better... Preferred to end on a better Graveler. Would have preferred to end on a better Graveler. Yes, this Zubat is perfectly acceptable as far as Zubats go. Could be better. Could be could be a whole, whole lot worse. But yes. Let's see. Next up is the Goldeen. And I'm glad I'm glad that my instincts were on point, even if the Yeah. Even if my idea of where where I would get the get the photo was wrong. I thought Goldeen spawned in the river. Or <laughs> Pardon. I thought Goldeen spawned basically in any any body of water, but uh, no, that is that is the purview of of uh, yeah, that is the purview of Magikarp. Yes, pardon me once again for a second. All right, our Charizard photo, pretty bad. <laughs> I was a little bit I was a little bit too quick there. Pretty pretty quick there. Not the worst. Not the worst, but definitely could have been like a lot better. But yes. Let's see. So Charizard. Oh, is that all you're gonna show? Fair enough. Hold on. Hold on. Alright, I decided. I decided to double check. I decided to double check that I to make sure that I got all the Pokemon, which maybe I didn't need to do because I never said that I was going to go for 100% completion or anything. I'm a, I've been expecting you, Tiber. The Pokemon Academy has officially announced the record for the highest photo score. Now you can compete to see how many total points you can get. I've arranged it so you can see the challenge score for each course. Good luck, Tibero. Do your best to beat all of the challenge scores. How, how are we for those? I don't particularly feel like challenging myself, but 
Yeah, anyway, I have been led to believe. Yeah, we definitely, yeah. We are missing a Pokemon. We are missing a very particular Pokemon. Hmm. So will this, okay, high score. Oh, okay. So we, yeah, none of what we've done so far counts towards the high score. Not that I particularly plan on going for the high score, like I said. Yes. But what I do plan on going for is to get a picture of all of the Pokemon here. Every single Pokemon in this game. Alright, yeah, I'm definitely getting some weird behavior out of my control sticks. Alright, that'll be another primer. Hmm, is it possible that there was a grammar behind us that we missed? Seems like not. Alright, that grammar is there. Hmm. hmm. Ah, there we go. Fuck. Me, please. Come on. <laughs> I've worked so hard for this. Alright. Well, seems that Muck is not impressed. So yeah, so I was thinking that it might have something to do with throwing pester balls at it. Feeding it, I guess, was sort of what I was thinking of initially. I was thinking that it might eat... Yeah, that it might eat apple-shaped Pokemon food like most other Pokemon do. But, uh, yeah, it does make sense that it would consume... Oh. Hmm. I don't know why Weeping Bell is so close to the water there. Okay, I, def I definitely didn't press A there. Yeah, I'm definitely getting some... A little bit of controller weirdness, which is not terrible, I guess. <clears throat> not the worst thing in the world. Everything, everything fades in time, I suppose. Yeah, we're not gonna, we're definitely not gonna make that, that next shot. So we'll just wrap things up here, now that we've got a Grimer. Not a good Grimer. Not a good Grimer. But it's a good enough Grimer. And we're getting to about the time that we want to wrap things up anyway. Because yeah, once again, this has turned into a full-length stream. I was kind of expecting it to be another pretty short one, like the previous two. I guess if if I had gone for a full-length stream for my first book on Snap Stream, then we'd probably already be playing Arknights tonight. Funnily enough, now that I think about it. Yeah, looking over... I haven't been keeping super close track of it, but yeah, it definitely... We've definitely not dropped many frames at all this stream. So I think the changes that I made have benefited us pretty significantly. Yes. So, Zubat is fine. We don't need to worry about Zubat. Hmm. I don't think... I don't think Professor Oak's going to accept this. I don't think he's going to like that grimer because a lot of it was cut out. This is the only picture we have of Muck that counts, apparently. It's the only picture we have of Muck, actually. I thought we took more than that, but oh well. Yes. So, we'll see how much better we've gotten at photographing this particular Poison-type Pokémon and its evolutionary chain. Stretch a little bit. I haven't been doing that all that much. Yes, Grimer. It's much bigger. But will that... Yeah, no. Size... Yeah, size only counts insofar as you can actually see the entirety of the Pokémon. Yes, Muck. Size is good. Pose is bad. You were close. Oh well. <laughs> Wait. Well, I set out to do what I wanted to do anyway. Welcome back. You have completed the Pokemon report. Tiber is a genuine. Tiber is a genuine Pokemon photographer. Congratulations. I have nothing left to teach you. Listen to your instincts and click the shutter when you see something that looks cool. Pokemon research on this island seemed long at first, but it really went by fast. I appreciate all of your help. Well then, see you later!
All right. Oh. You got another another credit roll. Nice. Yeah, I didn't know that there were two credits. I guess because I've never I've never done this in this order before. You know, completed the Pokemon report. I've never completed the Pokemon report. Or rather, I've never captured a picture of Mew and then completed the Pokemon report. I always did it the other way around. But yes. So now we get to see some more of our pretty okay photos. Including a picture of the one and only Mew. Yeah. A lot that could be better. But again, I was never really aiming for a score. I was never aiming for a score. I wasn't aiming for... I wasn't even really aiming for 100% completion. I just wanted to... Wanted to do so. Since it was so close. Since we had some time left. But yeah, I knew... Let's see. What is... Let me try to think. I also... I never spoke it aloud, but I did think that Dragon Air was potentially in this game at one point. Yeah, I thought Dragon Air was in this game, so that's one I was wrong on. Other than that, though, I think I did remember every Pokemon. Because, yeah, I remembered... Yeah. All the... Yeah. There's not any other Pokemon... That, there's no... Yeah, there's not any Pokemon that surprised me. I was thinking that there was Muck, and then I thought that there wasn't Muck for a while. Because I wasn't able to get Muck to spawn initially. Yeah, so I had assumed that there was not. Yeah, I had... I came to assume that there was no Muck. But that about which I am... That is definitely something about which I was wrong. Very nice. Very nice, one way or the other. We, get, we got to see two finales to this game in the span of one, one single stream. And so with that, we will call it. There we are. All right. So, Pokemon Snap. Yeah, now's about the time that I would uh, sit around and... Uh, yeah, sit around and talk about my experience with the game. So let's do that. So Pokemon Snap, pretty fun. Yeah, it took a little bit longer than I was expecting. It wasn't... Yeah, it wasn't... Um, yeah, I don't know. It didn't feel long. Honestly, I kind of expected it to take another stream. I guess at the rate that I was playing it previously... At the rate that I was playing it previously, it would have taken another stream. But uh, because I took a two... Did a two-hour stream of it instead of a one-hour stream of it today... Yeah, because of that, I was able to get it done in one fewer stream than I expected. So yeah, the... Yeah, the... I was pretty on point with regards to at least the... I was on point with regards to the amount of time it would take, if not the amount of streams it would take. Sit. But yes. So, the game was fun. It was a nice little diversion. I feel like I remembered it being I remembered it being a little bit more challenging, a little bit more engaging previously. But probably that's just because I didn't I didn't have like several 100% playthroughs of the game under my belt when I first played it on account of it being my first playthrough. I didn't have several 100% playthroughs of the game under my belt, so I didn't really know what to expect. So that's probably why I had more I experienced more challenge with it previously. But yeah. Definitely one thing that I have been thinking about. Not anything <clears throat> not anything that I would be doing immediately. But uh yeah, the the new Pokemon Snap, known as New Pokemon Snap. But uh the new Pokemon Snap is definitely on the radar for things to play in the future. Yeah, I don't have any immediate plans to play it. But I do, I would like to, at some point. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what there is, what all there is to say about this game. It's a pretty, pretty short, pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, it was a lot of fun. Definitely, it is definitely a game that was fun to play here. It's a game I've had a lot of fun with in the past. 
Glad I got to revisit it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. Unlike most other games, it sort of, it was sort of a, like I said, it was a thing that I did to fill time, to make time for me to be able to play Arknights. So I didn't have as many, yeah, I didn't really have any intentions for it. Intentions going into it. So I guess it, that would be part of why it didn't really have as much impact on some of, as some of the other playthroughs. On, on top of it just being pretty short. <laughs> Which is really the, the biggest, biggest part of it, I guess. The shortness of it. But, uh, let's see. So, game was fun, enjoyable, not as challenging as I remembered it being, not as challenging as I remembered it being, but I can understand why. Um, yeah, I think that's basically all that needs to be said. <laughs> yeah, looking forward to beginning Arc Knights next week. Yeah, that, I don't know, I might not start it immediately, because I do, I do want to take some time to decide precisely what I want to do with that. Whether I just want to play the main game or also do side side events. I think probably I'd focus, if nothing else, I'd focus on the main game first. And then maybe do side stuff later. But again, I have about a week to think about that. So honestly, if I can't make if I can't make that sort of decision in a week, then I I wouldn't be that surprised with myself. But you know. I will have plenty of time. Whether or not I will give myself the time is another question, but I will have plenty of time. But yes, so that leaves us with the end of the stream. And as per usual, as we reach the end of a stream, I will open the floor to anyone to make a suggestion for a raid, if anyone would like to. I will stretch a little bit. Stretch a little bit, have a little sip. But it seems that we do not have a target suggestion. So I think tonight. Oh, ah. Thank you for the stream. Thank you for dropping by. Uh, Ven, Ven. I remember. Yes, Ven. <laughs> yes, thank you for dropping by, Ven. But yeah. Um. Oh, actually, given that you are here, do you have anyone that you would. Any raid suggestions? Yeah. As always, I am. I would be glad to hear it. If you've got anyone you would like to drop by and see. If not, of course, that is perfectly fine as well. Take another sip while I wait. Yeah, I just had the I had the impulse to check uh, Orange. I think I've I've heard that name before, but I don't think I've seen them before. Yeah, sounds fine to me. We will go and give our orange a visit. B -b -b orange. All right, raid command. B -b -b All right, playing some Signalis. Yeah, that is a video game. <laughs> I don't know much about that video game, but I know that it is a video game. You can quote me on that. Yes, call me watching you play Pokemon Snap. Thank you. Yeah, a lot of people have said that I that I am very calming, both in on the stream and in general, in real life. So that's sort of what I aim for. That's something that I want to that's sort of the energy that I like to to bring to the stream. That's the sort of thing that I want to uh Yeah, that's what I want to do, you know, basically. I like to be a calming, relaxing sort of stream. You know, it's sort of pretty popular to be sort of a big hype, hype excited sort of stream on Twitch, but I like to keep things a little bit calm. But yes, anyway, the customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. So stream is about or the raid is about ready to go off. So thank you all for being here tonight. I hope you've had a fine night. I hope that you'll continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be well the next time I see you. Thank you all very much and farewell. Let us get this raid underway.